Ok. Tu je kome? Now then, well, I'm back in the Lake District. There's a lake, and that is Wasp Water, if you didn't recognize it. And that is the uh, deepest lake, I think, might be in England. If not, it's definitely in the Lake District. So anyway, I am heading up to Scarfell um, Pike, uh, or Scarfell, somewhere around there. It's late, it's uh, nearly seven o'clock, and that is in the evening, obviously. And uh, I need to get up there and get pitched. So I have got some shorts on, got the little skinny legs out, and uh, I am going to, um, yeah, skedaddle up there as fast as I can, really, and just try to find somewhere to pitch and uh, crack a beer open or a cider. Can't remember what I've got. Anyhow, let's be off. Right, I'm going to start with a uh, time lapse. So you're going to see this bit from the bottom to this point, um, and then obviously I'm going to continue up and hopefully I can get it right to the summit. But already I've been marching like crazy trying to get up here because obviously it's going to get dark soon and I need to find some way of uh, pitching my tent on all this rocky ground, but um, I'll sort it out. I've got my bivvy anyway, so I can always just uh, sleep in that. I don't think it's going to rain, but anyway, hot as anything. Sweating like a horny otter doing backstroke. So there's wasp water in the bottom there. And we're starting to get into some of the interesting stuff. So up over the back of that is Scarfell. And there's a, a route up the back of there, which is, I'm gonna to do tomorrow, which is called the uh, Lord's Rake. Absolutely awesome is that. Can't wait to show you that one. And then I'm gonna go up the center here, um, onto Mickledore, I think it's called then bear left up onto Scarfell Pike at the top of the world. Well, England anyway. Yeah, I prefer this uh, route up to the top of Scarfell Pike. A little bit more interesting. But there is a couple of scramble sections, so it's not uh, the easiest of ways to get up there. But if you can see, just up there, there's a zigzagging path, and that's a normal one that most people take. 
bears left. But I like uh, a bit more of an adventure. And that's where we're heading. Straight up in the centre of that. I'll tell you what, it's hard work when you're marching, trying to get up quickly, especially with this weight on my back. A couple of bottles of water, a few beers, food for two days in the morning. But uh, <laughs> I just love it. I absolutely love it. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. <sighs> just pushing myself. And it's always a challenge because uh, the higher I get up here, I think the less chance I'm going to find a uh, camping spot because it does get very, very rocky. So worst case scenario, I'll be in my bivvy. <sighs> Can always get a bivvy somewhere. <sighs> and dog's going to be happy. Sleeping out, don't bother him at all. I think it's only going to get down to about, might be eight degrees up here. Maybe seven. But we can cope with that, me and dog. <laughs> oh, love it. to get up here really but if you can see in the background here just sort of zigzags up through the scree and straight through that channel so this is probably the most technical part but it's it's not that bad it isn't anyway I've just found my Scarfell heartstone time and then it just continues up through that gully there so it's not too bad to be honest but it is a uh, very loose and the dog's already up there but I don't know how he knows but he knows how everywhere to go he just knows where to go I just follow him <sighs> some people go where the uh, wind blows and I just go where the dog goes Pollock dog. So as we come out of the uh, gully, you can actually see something far in the distance there. We've got Bowfell on the left and then Crinkle Crags. And then to the left here, this is all uh, Scarfell Pike. And we're gonna head up this uh, track up here. There. Into the sky to be the highest man and dog in England.
there we are, last little glimmer of wasp water. And just to the left of that, that is Scar Fell. And I'm gonna summit that tomorrow. It's quite a tricky one to get up from here actually, to be honest, but you're gonna love that one. It's actually a brilliant up and a brilliant back down. There we are, made it. Top of England, nothing higher, apart from this little bit here. So let's go up here now. Oh. Come on, Blue. So there we are, we are stood at the highest point in England. I am the highest person in England, unless uh, Cheech and Chong are around somewhere still. I'm sure they'll be higher than me. <laughs> yeah, do you remember them? They were us. <laughs> well, I'm at the top. I've had a good scout around and there's nowhere at all to pitch a tent. Not my tent because it's a two-man, it's a bit big really. So, um, I'm not fancying bivy camping because it's got a slight chance of rain tonight so I could do with really pitching my tent. It's too late now to be messing about. Uh, I'm not walking anywhere in the dark because it is um, so rocky everywhere. So, my plan is, get this one. I am going to pitch on the summit of Scarfell Pike. I will be the highest man, the highest person in England tonight. Can't beat that, can you? There we go. This is a proper summit camp. You cannot get higher than this. It's actually pitched pretty well, but obviously I've got to be a bit careful with it, uh, being all these rocks. But anyway, let's get inside because it's freezing. And I've still got my shorts on. So for dinner we have salmon and broccoli pasta with some extra broccoli. It was just same fridge at home that I needed to eat up. So I'm just boiling some water now. Well, that was a bit of a rushed evening, setting off late to get up to the top of Scarfell Pike, but um, it only took me an hour and 40 minutes. It wasn't too bad. And um, yeah, got up here and do you know what? I am actually pitched on the summit of Scarfell Pike. So currently I am the highest person in England. Get that. So there's 55 and a bit million people beneath me now. How amazing is that? What a brilliant feeling. Um, it's not the best place to pitch a tent. You can't really pitch one to be fair. How I've done it, I don't know. Um, proper levered it in. Um, and obviously there's rocks underneath me. So I kicked out any sort of like rubbishy sharp ones, which um, hopefully, um, allow me to just sleep okay tonight on the mat um, and I hope I don't damage my tent as well because obviously there's a massive chance that I could 
but um, it's a bit breezy as you can probably tell it's flapping about a bit um, so it's just gonna be one of them nights I think but um, yeah look at me top of the world absolute top of the world love it absolutely love it so yeah happy as usual eh it is time for me to uh, get to sleep it's sort of past 11 o'clock and I need to be up very early to catch the sunrise and pack the tent away before people sort of know that I'm around really so uh, that is my aim anyway it's been uh, it's been a pleasure I've totally enjoyed it so <sighs> right time to rest these old bones eh on a load of rocks I want a bad night's sleep considering uh, this is flapping about all over. Obviously, uh, I haven't been able to pull it to taut because I've just sort of pinned it down with rocks rather than pinning it to the ground, but it's uh, done the job for the evening. Um, but you can hear it flapping like. Honestly, it's like uh, a skeleton having a one kid of biscuit tin, this one. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I've, uh, I've done all right. So I'm going to uh, get packed up as soon as I can really because it's um, it's about half past five now. Um, I've already seen a couple of people come up um, that were doing the uh, Three Peaks Challenge. So they were up early. Um, so I've been awake a while but anyway, time to get up and away so nobody really knows that I've been here. That's the main thing. And then we can move on to uh, different grounds. It's a bit claggy, <laughs> definitely a bit claggy. Well, there it is. How the hell I pitched on that, I do not know. But leave no trace as usual and on to the next place. Well, that's where I camped and I got packed up at about 5.30 this morning. Um, since that point, I've uh, seen about probably 40 odd lads have come up. There was a bus load and a few others uh, that are doing the Three Peaks Challenge. So some are heading north and going to Ben Nevis and some south uh, down to Snowdon. But um, shout out to all those guys who are uh, doing a cracking job. It's a fair, uh, fair way like doing that in a day. walking down off Scarfell Pike over all these boulders and just uh, heading towards Scarfell which is just there she's just revealed herself it is very cloudy so hopefully it's gonna clear it did say it gives sunshine today but no sign of it as yet I've just made my way down from the top of Scarfell Pike up there through all this rough, rugged rockery. And this is the first water that I've found. Um, and it's flowing just, so it's not a stagnant pond 
which is good. So I'm going to filter some water out of this. I've mentioned before, but with these Soya Squeeze bottles, the easiest way to fill them, because a lot of people don't know how to do this really, fill it with air, keep it as uh, large as possible, stick the nozzle in, and then the only thing that's going to displace the air there is now water. So it fills up a lot easier doing it that way, because people I see struggling all the time with it. And also the water you're taking, you're taking from a few centimetres beneath the surface, so you're actually uh, not taking all the scum crap off the top. Well, now I've got some water, I'm going to uh, just have a wander around to Broad Crag Town and then uh, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and have a bit of a snack and just uh, chill out for a little while I think. So I'll show you that.
Well, I've been sat up against this rock, just watching the people climb up onto the ridge and then head up to uh, Scarfell Pike. And uh, I've just been asleep, just there for two hours. <laughs> I absolutely loved it, just so peaceful. So what I'm going to do now is uh, gather all my stuff together because it's all sort of spread around and about and then um, get myself onto the top of Scarfell and I'll show you that. So I'm going to set off, I'm going to walk all the way up to that ridge line there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop off the back of this and then you go round the back of Scarfell and that's uh, going up a a path called Lord's Rake, which is uh, it's quite a scramble. Um, and it's pretty cool though, you're gonna enjoy that one definitely. And then, once you've been around the back, I'm gonna come all the way down, and then Fox's Tarn is somewhere here, and I'm gonna come all the way down this uh, gully, back down to the bottom. So whether I camp up there or come back down today and camp somewhere around here, because uh, just looking down there, looks to be some really nice little sections that I could camp at, but we will see. So to get onto the top of there, I'm gonna slide myself down this bit here and then straight up this crack there. And that is called the Lord's Rake. And it's uh it's quite challenging uh i do love it though so let's get ourselves up there now Don't climb. 